Hello everyone, welcome to a UX pin tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to use variables. Variables allow you to store user inputs and take actions based on the provided data inside the prototype. You can easily create dynamic text elements, tailor design content, and collect data to display it elsewhere in your design. Take a look at the preview mode to see how it all works. Let's say I want my user to provide personal details while setting up the account. And I want these details, like the name, to be transferred onto the credit card on the next page. As you can see, the name of John Doe appeared on my credit card. Now, while I'm typing the other information like the credit card number, the expiration date, and the CVV code, I want these to be automatically applied on the same credit card in the areas where they typically belong. Now, how did I achieve that effect? Let's move to the editor to break down the use of variables in this example. The variable function is located at the bottom of the toolbar on the left. The first step is to create and name your variable. This will hold the content I need in the next steps of building out an interaction, which I'll show you in just a couple of seconds. Let's focus on the element labeled that's me. It has two functions. First, moving us to the next page, and second, storing the data in the variable, data that we include in the input element labeled full name. As you can see, I already added an interaction of the go to page. So we can go ahead and create our second interaction of setting the variable. This will allow us to store content in the input element as the value of your variable. You want to make sure that the variable is set as content of element and choose the element labeled full name input. Perfect. Interaction is all done. So we can move on to step two, which is the next page. First, I'll show you my layers so you can see all the elements used here. Now, I'm adding a canvas interaction simply by clicking on the canvas or an empty workbench area around it. Just be sure that no elements are selected. For my trigger, I will select Pages Loaded. Next, for my action, I will click on More and select the action of Set Content. The element I want the content to be applied to is my element named as full name front. I'm setting content as value of variable, the one that I already created on the previous page and called name, as you can remember. Now I'll set another two interactions on the element of number input. First, to save the content the user enters as a variable, and second, to fill the element labeled credit card number with text saved in the variable, which will dynamically change while typing it. Now I will build out an interaction to save the content that the user enters as a variable. The trigger will be on change. Then I go with set variable and here I need to create one. You don't have to go to the toolbar this time. You can stick to the properties panel, but only while adding an interaction. Set variable as content and choose the element of number input. And for the second interaction, the trigger will be on change again. You'll set the content of the element CC number and using the value from previously created number variable. I repeated the same steps with the elements of valid and CVV, but remember to add valid and CVV variable before doing so. Okay, let's move to the last step. Here I'm adding another canvas interaction. My trigger will be pages loaded and my action will be to set the content of the element of full name front stored in the name variable. Go with the same flow for the elements of CC number and CC expiration, as well as the variables of number and valid. In conclusion, variables allow storing content and transfer it across the prototype. It's ideal for building web forms, login panels, sign-up forms, and conditional logic. Elements that are suitable for using variables are input, text areas, checkboxes, and radio buttons. Make sure to use set variable interaction to collect data from the variable. Also, be sure to set content interaction for a transferring content of the variable to the chosen elements. Thank you for taking the ride with me through variables. If you have any questions or need some extra guidance, just contact us at hello at uxpin.com. Any suggestions are welcome.